belly cat. What do I say? Puerto Rico, pretty much, once you get a thing going on and everybody goes for it. That's rolling. Hey guys, uh, my name is Alex. Um, this is my first time vlogging this video. I've been wanting to starting a YouTube start to a YouTube channel uh, for the longest time. Um, I figured now is the perfect time to do it because I keep talking about it and I end up not doing it. Um, I also have here my uh, one of my best friends. Uh, his name is Macho, um, and he just brought his Evo as a plus. Uh, so tell, uh, we'll start off with, um, tell us a little bit about it. So we got... How you got it? 06, Mitsubishi MR. Uh, the way how I got it was actually, it's a funny story, because my brother here, he actually made me believe in myself. I didn't think that I was going to be able to get it until this guy comes and tells me that, who tells you that you can't get something? And I'm like, dang, I guess it's myself. He's like, and he tells me, don't ever let nobody tell you that you can't get something. And then, what, a month later? A month <laughs> later, we got it. Hashtag thing to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can cut it there. All right, guys, so now it's time for the show and tell. Um, so this is my 1990 Nissan 300ZX twin turbo. I got it in... Uh, I got it, I'd say, in February. Um, the owner took real good care of it. He, rid, he redid the interior. I'm very, very happy with the car. When I bought it, I actually had, um, when I brought it home, it actually had a blown turbo on the way there, on the way to my house. Um, so me and Wesley, uh, I gotta give props to Wesley. Um, thanks for all the help. He actually helped me out in swapping out the turbos without pulling the engine out, which is a job that I would not recommend for anyone. Uh, but yeah, after that, no mods done lately. It has, it is lowered. I did go ahead and add the wind factory diffuser. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, the lights. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or not. I don't like how they're blurry like that. But yeah, I'll do a little bit more show and tell later on. But now we're going to move on to my Ooh. boys Evo. Ooh. And tell us a little bit about it, Bachi. So like I said, 06 Evolution MR. My dream car. Hey. Yes, my dream oh, car. Oh, yes, yes. And um, yes, this has always been my dream car. Yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So my white bad, on white, bad. it came just like that um, from the dealership. When I got it from the dealership, it actually came with a, correct me if I'm wrong, a rod nut. Very, very clean. So we took it back. They fixed it all up and everything. They took very good care of me. And it's been, what, six years later. And just uh, later on, we'll go more into depth with the modifications. But yeah, white on white, pretty much the only thing I did on the outside, I took off the wing. Um, just so like stealth mode, but I still have it. So, <laughs> yeah. All y'all haters, don't be hating on me. Oh, it's all love in this channel. It's all love in this and channel. Did, uh, front lip as well. Front and lip, yep. Let me get that. Front lip, and then just you know your basic taking care of it. Uh, I. And you've had it for what six years now? I'm going for six or seven. Yeah, yeah. and it feels good because it's actually owned. 
Hey. Hey. My name. Hey. Well, side, my name and my wife's. Thank you, wifey. Appreciate it again. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, and then um, this little guy right here. It's just a shop that I go to. Yep. Very awesome people. Um, they're up in Largo. And uh, they pretty much, once we get more in depth with the modification, I'll explain to you what they did as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right, all right. Uh, guys, sorry. Um, this is uh, this video is a bit mixed up. Uh, bear with me since I'm. It's my first time vlogging. Um, basically, yes, this is my dream car. I've had two in the past. I had a red one, Z32. It was um, the red one was a bit beat up, but it was the most reliable one I've had so far, hands down. Um, I did sell it. Um, which I regret selling it, but you know, it is what it is. It's mistakes that you make that you're not gonna You know, you're not gonna dwell on it. You're just gonna move on um, I had another white one. I was actually building that one It was a uh, it was around roughly 700 horsepower. It had Wiseco pistons, Eagle rods, turbos, injectors uh, You name it. It had everything. I mean, I dropped so much money on it, but um I felt like it, that car was, it was way too much money that I invested in it and it was in such bad condition, like the body had rust and all that, that I was like, you know, this is probably a bad idea. I ended up selling the car with the parts and everything. Got a good amount of money for it. Um, and then I ended up getting another car, a GTO. I had that for about a year or so. And don't get me wrong, I have a tremendous amount of respect on LS Motors and GTOs, they're awesome cars, but I, for me, it wasn't my cup of tea. I wasn't having as much fun as I was having that I was having with the 300. So I felt like the 300 is where it's at because I had a blast actually, you know, driving that car. There's just something about them, you know? So I ended up selling that and ended up with this one back in February, and I'm ex tremendously, extremely happy with it. So. Um, I have big plan. I have big plans for it, so we'll see how that goes. Right, a little bit more show and tell. Can't get enough of these two cars. Both of them together look gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and by the way, my car is not black. It looks like it's black, but it's actually brown. Really dark brown. It's Kodiak brown. I believe Ford makes the color. I'm not sure if you can see it that well. It looks like it is black though. To the eye, it may appear black, but it's actually brown. Um, one thing I forgot to add, uh, when I got it, it had everything stock in here. Like he took real good care of it. I actually added the NRG quick release steering wheel, carbon fiber. I'm very happy with it. I love these things. I've been wanting to have it, have a quick release on a car for the longest time and I never ended up getting it. And I was like, you know what? Let me just hop on and get to it. It's actually carbon fiber with NRG Innovations uh, quick release and I'm still debating whether I should get racing seats or stick with the stock ones I mean the stock ones really complement the interior like a whole lot like shout out to David uh, Dishler he's the owner was the owner of this car he took really good care of it and the motor is actually the block he said something like that but the block is actually from japan um and it's it has under eighty thousand miles so he spent a lot of time and money on this car um and yeah wide tires in the back i am definitely in love with this car gotta give love and some more love for the evo This Evo, I remember when he first got it. Pristine condition, and it still is in pristine condition. Ah, oh, you locked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. Mostly stock, has mostly everything stock on it. The Recaro seats. He has it really taken care of. I believe he's on E85 as well, correct? E85, yep. She's a beauty. I got big plans for her. I just got her. I'm just set it. I'm settling down. 
two very beautiful cars it's all love in this channel people people so that was it for today i just wanted to start my very first video vlog on my z32 um if you actually like the content that you see if you can subscribe to the channel that will help out a whole lot and i can actually um show you what i'll be doing in the near future with this z32 little by little i can show you all the upgrades i'll be doing to it um like for example um when I mounted the rear diffuser on this car, um, the exhaust that I had previously, which was a Genie turbo exhaust, was not able to mount on it. This diffuser won't actually let it. So I went ahead and just sold it. So I definitely have plans on getting an HKS high power exhaust. So be sure to stay tuned. But I definitely got a lot of uh, goodies coming up for this car in the near future. Um, like I said, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw. Um, thanks for watching.